Now, Grandma would uh, fix our little food to eat mm -hmm. and wash out the sheets by hand, I think, and hang them out to dry. We lived there one year, and then the next year, there was an apartment right across from the school, right across the road from the school, a little dirt road, kind of. And so I rented it, and then Grandma could sit on the front porch and see the kids run out to play and be at school. And she said those were, I think she told my mother that those were some of her happiest years. Two years I taught in Texarkana, Arkansas. And it would say that about the double bedding. We had a double, we had a double bed, and we um, we slept in it together, <laughs> Grandma and I. <laughs> yeah, that must not have been easy for her. I don't know why we didn't get two beds. Well, we had slept together when I was a little kid for a long time, Grandma and I. We slept together, but maybe we. But I can only remember one bed. We had another room. We could have set up something there, and um, yeah. But Grandma could Grandma could just walk across the street to church, and I'd get the little groceries. And I think I made all of a hundred and twenty-four dollars a month. And I had um, my first year. I had um, maybe about twelve kids, and every grade but one. Seven grades. My first year. <laughs> mm-hmm. And when the weekend was come, I just had this one little room behind the church to teach in. And when the weekend would come, uh, I would see that the place was cleaned up, because they're going to use it for Sabbath school, you know. And it had one little chalkboard over here that I'd clean off, and I'd put a little saying on it or something and try to straighten stuff up. And we did have, we did have indoor bathrooms somehow there. And the playground was no bigger than my backyard hardly. But I made it for two years. I think I had all eight grades one year. I'm not sure. I thought I did. <laughs>